Hey, I'm Cammie Lee, and this is Code Babe's intro to the internet. Ready to get mind fucked? You need your computer and a brain. This course goes over the basics of the internet, tools you need to be a badass developer, and how Al Gore invented it. Actually, that last part isn't true. Al Gore is full of shit. A bunch of genius dudes created it over the past few decades with a little cashola from Uncle Sam. Now pay attention and stop Googling me. So what's the internet? It's a giant network of computers from the computer you're using right now up to giant server farms. And it's pretty awesome. There's still a lot of freedom on the internet. Well, except if you live in some fascist country. In the US, we still go to any site we want, but we're being watched. With a little motivation and a great idea, anyone can create something amazing on the web. Part of the reason is net neutrality, meaning your puny ass site can compete along with the big boys. Just remember, if you hear the words net neutrality, it's a good thing, support it. And if you do build something awesome, getting a server big enough to handle a bajillion hits is cheaper than ever. It's the golden age of the internet. You just need to build something. Time to get technical. The computer or mobile device you're on is the client, or the client side. The web page you're looking at is getting served up by the server, the server side. When you type in a web URL into a browser, it's requesting a page from a server somewhere. When the server gets the request, it processes it and sends your browser some files to turn into a web page. The server is just another computer, probably surrounded by hundreds more in a giant building somewhere, running software that serves up web pages. The cloud. Sounds more expensive than server farm, right? These servers run an operating system like any other computer. Usually Linux have a, a database and some kind of server-side programming language. Two more terms used a lot are backend and frontend. When code gets processed on the server, that's the backend. We're talking stuff like PHP, Ruby, or Python. Front end refers to stuff getting processed on your computer by the browser. Stuff like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're going to talk about the back end stuff first, since, well, I do have a nice back end, if you know what I'm saying. 